Whatever you do, don't name your baby any of these names. You might get arrested or worse. Here are 15 illegal baby names. Number 15, Fres. At the beginning of 2015, a French court made the somewhat controversial decision to ban a family from naming their newborn child Fraise. This, of course, is the French word for strawberry. And while this may seem like a case of the courts getting involved in something they shouldn't, the real problem was that the word is also commonly used in the country in the phrase ramenta fraise, which loosely translates to mean, get your butt over here. In France, the law is clear that while parents do have the freedom to name their children virtually anything they want, any that are either clearly foreign or particularly unusual must be made aware to a prosecutor to be sure they're against the interests of the child. Number 14. Citizen You might think that every parent and every country would want a newborn child to become a good citizen, but it turns out that the word citizen isn't actually an appropriate name. That's what an Australian mom found out in 2019 when she chose the unusual moniker for her son. The mother in question is a well-known Instagrammer called Jet Set Mama, and her account is full of images that she shares with her followers what it's like to be a modern-day parent. She fell foul of a law that prohibits children from being given a name that is against the public interest or is misleading, and the use of a word that signifies an official title, rank, or position within the community is expressly forbidden. Number 13. Metallica the temptation as a parent to name your child after one of your favorite bands is one that most overcome before actually writing it down on a birth certificate. But in 2007, a Swedish couple chose to christen their daughter Metallica Tomorrow, and it led them into a whole realm of legal complications. It was the tax authority that complained about the choice, and according to Sweden's law, parents must get both the first and second name approved by authorities before it's made official to ensure that nothing offensive or unsuitable is used. Following a lengthy court battle, the parents actually managed to get authorities to back down, and their daughter was allowed to keep her name. But it was made clear at the time that this was a one-off, and that no one else would be able to choose the same. Number 12. Venerdi In English-speaking countries, it's not too unusual for someone to be named after a day of the week, a trend that probably began with Wednesday from the Adams family. But in other countries, it's a strict no-no. In 2008, an Italian court reversed a couple's choice of Venerdì as a name for their son, which is the Italian word for Friday. Despite their argument that famous couples had a record of choosing bizarre names like Chanel and Oceano, why should they be treated any differently? This point fell on deaf ears, though, and in the ruling, the judge said it was a ridiculous name that could expose the boy to mockery. Further to this, he decided that the boy should instead be called Gregorio, as that was the saint's day on which he had been born. Number 11. Talula Does the Hula from Hawaii In New Zealand, the law used to be you couldn't have a name that was offensive, more than 100 characters long, include punctuation marks, or imply a military title. But in 2008, the rules were adapted after a 9-year-old girl went to court to try to have her name changed. She had been called Talula Does the Hula from Hawaii, and was so ashamed by this that she had never told her friends the truth. The judge agreed to make her a ward of the court so she could be called something more normal, and in the process updated legislation to say that other names that could be embarrassing for children, such as Fish and Chips, Twisty Poi, and Yeah Detroit, shouldn't be allowed. The case also looked at how suitable her parents were to be taking care of her, and their choice of a name was cited as evidence that they weren't responsible enough, which led to the court taking action to make sure social services would regularly check in and make sure she was doing okay. Number 10. Griezmann Mbappe Being a sports supporter is an obsession for millions of people around the world, and many of them would describe it as more of a religion than religion is. It's hardly a surprise, then, that countless children are born each year who are named after the stars of the teams their parents follow. But sometimes this can lead to something that the courts look unfavorably on. In 2018, France won the Soccer World Cup, and the players involved in the final against Croatia became instant sporting royalty. Parades were held in their honor, they'll likely never have to buy a beer for themselves ever again, and babies that were conceived that summer were given their names. One couple from Brive, France, didn't want to take the name of just one player, though, but two, and turn Antoine Griezmann and Kylian Mbappe into their chosen name of Griezmann Mbappe. The registrar had other ideas, however, and when they submitted the name for approval, they were denied on account of it going against the child's best interests, and because of a third party's right to protect their family name. 
Number nine, Prince William. Another French family fell foul of the country's strict naming laws in 2015, thanks to their choice to call their newborn son Prince William. The concern for the courts was not, as you might assume, that it might imply the child to be a royal or cause confusion in later life, but because they felt it would open up the boy to a lifetime of mockery. Luckily, however, the parents had gone to court equipped with an alternative suggestion if their original choice was disallowed. And you can only imagine the judge's face when they said they wanted to name their son Minnie Cooper. This was unsurprisingly banned as well, and the couple were told to think of something far more appropriate that wouldn't lead their son to needing many years of therapy to get over. Number 8. Adolf It seems unbelievable that anyone would choose to call their child after Adolf Hitler, and even though they had only used the German dictator's first name as their son's middle name, their association with neo-Nazism led the boy to being taken away from them, and a court case that resulted in them being given a prison sentence. They had turned their home into what prosecutors called a shrine to racism, and often posed with their child while wearing KKK hoods, Nazi emblems, and had gone on record saying ghastly and outrageous things. For the fear that the name would harm the child enough, let alone the environment that he was being brought up in, the court in Birmingham in the UK decided that the best course of action, quite rightly, was to remove him from such a toxic environment, give him a new name, and find a caring family to adopt him. His parents were sent to prison in 2018 for between five and seven years for being part of a racist organization, and hopefully will never get a chance to teach a youngster their toxic ideology ever again. Number 7. Akuma In 1993, two Japanese parents, Shigeharu and Ayako Sato, registered their newborn son with the authorities in Akishima, which is a town inside Tokyo. And at first, everything seemed fine, and the name was put on the family register, which, in Japan, gives its full recognition. The problem, however, was that the name they chose was Akuma, which translates to mean the devil. And two months later, as the paperwork was making it through the system, the issue was flagged up. Officials intervened, citing their concerns that having such a divisive name would subject the boy to ridicule and discrimination, and that the fact the parents chose it meant that their choice was an abuse of the right of the parents to name a child. They were instructed, in no uncertain terms, to choose another moniker, but instead decided to take their case to court to argue their position. Ultimately, they were unsuccessful, and while it's not known what the child's legal name became after that, the fact that the parents kept calling him Akuma meant that that's what he responded to and became his de facto name anyway. Number 6. Nutella It must be a tough decision for parents when they have to try to think of a name for a child, and quite often they might find themselves looking around the home for inspiration. A French couple found themselves needing to look much further than their kitchen cupboard in 2015, though, when they decided they wanted to call their girl Nutella after the popular hazelnut spread. The court soon intervened, and in his ruling, the judge said that the choice would clearly lead to a lifetime of teasing or disparaging thoughts, because the branded product was so commonplace in Gaelic homes. In a further twist, the parents chose not to attend the hearing when the judge read out his comments, so he also chose the name that the girl should have on her legal documents, Ella. Number 5. Monkey You might think of Denmark as being a free country where almost anything goes. But despite their Scandinavian outlook on the world, the authorities there are notoriously strict on the choice of baby names. In fact, there's a list of 7,000 names that parents can choose from, and even then the name must appropriately reflect the birth gender of the child too. Still, parents can, if they want, apply to an independent body with the Danish Ministry of Social Affairs that's called the Enkelstyrelsen. If officials there agree that the name is appropriate, then it's allowed, but they rarely accept anything new. In recent years, a couple got into trouble with the laws for trying to call their child Monkey because of the racist connotations and other parents haven't been taken to court after choosing names such as Pluto after the Disney dog and altered spellings of more common names. The idea behind the law is to prevent anyone from being called something that's potentially offensive to anyone else, something that will cause torment to a child while they're growing up, and to preserve Danish heritage and cultural identity by ensuring everyone's name is spelled correctly and has its roots in history. It most definitely is not a country that supports the recent trend of unusually named celebrity offspring, and they're doing everything they can to give every child the same start in life. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 4. Messiah 
In 2013, a judge in Tennessee was forced to step in when she deemed a child's name to be too controversial to be appropriate for him to grow up in the States. His parents had called him Messiah Deshaun Martin, and while they had originally gone to court in dispute over his last name because the family was breaking up, the ruling insisted that his first name was altered too. In the previous year, more than 700 children in the U.S. had been called Messiah but it was the religious views of the community where he lived that the judge cited as being the reason why it wasn't suitable. In Christianity, it's linked with Jesus, while in Judaism, the word refers to the anticipated savior of the Jews. Dictionary definitions say that it can mean either the savior or as a liberator. But since the child was to be raised in a predominantly Christian neighborhood, it was suggested that it could be seen as offensive to other people and that the boy had no say in this himself. In her statement, the judge said that, the word Messiah is a title that has only been earned by one person, and that one person is Jesus Christ. She ordered that, from that day forth, the child would instead be known as Martin Deshaun McCullough to incorporate both of his parents' surnames. Number 3. Linda Saudi Arabia is known for its tough laws and harsh punishments, but in 2016, the Interior Ministry decided that they needed to take control of how citizens were naming their children in order to prevent the influx of Western culture into the country and to stop people being called something that would indicate a higher social standing. They released a list of 50 prohibited names for newborns, and to those elsewhere, some of the ones on the list were forbidden may come as quite a surprise. The ones that were included were said to contradict the culture or the religion of the kingdom, such as Linda, Alice, or Elaine. And there were others that were seen as blasphemous, non-Arabic, non-Islamic, or because they have royal connotations. Others that were banned included Malak, which means Angel, Sandy, Lauren, Maya, and Iman. While those only to be used by authorized people included Sumur, which means Highness, Binyamin, which is the Arabic for Benjamin, and Amir, which means Prince. It's not entirely clear how many parents were attempting to register their children with names that were on the list before it was published, but the law now states that anyone trying to do so will be subject to legal repercussions, and in the worst cases, the state will intervene and choose an appropriate name for the newborn themselves. Since its publication, several new names have been added that also represent ideals and cultures that the country doesn't want to be encouraged, and the ruling has been hailed as a success at helping to maintain the religion and heritage of the kingdom. Number 2. Robocop in 2014, the northern Mexican state of Sonora brought in a new rule that prevents parents from choosing names for their children that are deemed by authorities to be, in their words, derogatory, pejorative, discriminatory, or lacking in meaning, which meant, in effect, that they could take issue with virtually any name they wanted. But they had a few in mind when they made this decree and released a list of explicitly forbidden monikers. There's actually a long tradition in Mexico of giving peculiar names, whether it be just to help the child stand out or because the parents didn't fully understand the full meaning of what they're choosing. One popular name that's on the list, for example, is Anavdelarev, which is an abbreviation of the Spanish words that mean anniversary of the revolution and is often seen on calendars throughout the country. Some people have mistakenly read this to be the name of a saint that is associated with that particular day and led to some confusion. Other names that were banned in the law were Robocop, Burger King, Lady Di, and Batman. And some less savory ones included Escrato, Cesarea, Email, and Hitler. U.S. Navy, James Bond, Hermione, and Email were also prohibited, which surely proves that Mexicans are some of the bravest and creative people in the world when it comes to their names, while at the same time simply picking the first thing they see outside or on TV. According to the director of the civil registry that oversees the list, the intent behind creating it was to prevent children from being bullied for their names, because this can lead to issues in the development of their personality and social skills. Although they came under fire for attacking the freedoms and rights of parents, the registry intends to update the list every few months or so to keep it in line with modern society, and in particular, to ensure that parents fully understand the meaning behind a name before they give it to a child for the rest of their lives. Number 1. Blue Ever since Beyoncé and Jay-Z named their daughter Blue Ivy, it seemed almost inevitable that other couples around the world would pick something similar. But not all countries are as accommodating with choices like these, and one couple were taken to court in Italy in 2018 for naming their daughter Blue, the Italian spelling of the color. She had gone by the name for 18 months, and despite having it registered on her birth certificate and passport, 
her parents received a summons to arrive at court with an alternative name. Otherwise, the judge would choose one for her. The problem from a legal perspective came from a law based on a presidential decree that was signed in the year 2000, and it said that a child's name must correspond to their sex. It was said, therefore, that because it's a modern name based on the English word blue, and that it couldn't be unequivocally attributed to someone who was female, then it must be changed. Her parents, of course, planned to challenge this ruling, not just because internationally it's an accepted name, but because in Italy, six girls had been named blue in 2016. It's up to a registrar whether they refer a name to the courts, and it seems in their case, their registrar was more of a stickler to the rules. In the end, they lost their appeal, but it's almost certainly the name they still call her behind closed doors. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.